It's brighter than usual for some reason. I don't know, maybe my maybe it's just me. But <clears throat> I got Packer year on. Somebody was complaining about that. I think that was CP last time. Uh, last couple times I haven't been wearing Packer gear, but I got some UFC for the first time. Wait, smoke breaks. It's gonna be fun. Looking forward to it. Looking forward to it. What's going on, Harry? Harry actually uh, hit me up uh, directly about it, and I just happened to just happened to just get it in. So um, must have been feeling it there or something. So I'm glad you can make it. What's going on, K Dub? Good to see you and Harry both. Happy Wednesday. We're over halfway through the week, boys. Almost there, but. Uh, Welcome, welcome. Doing some UFC, like I said, for the first time. I'm looking forward to it a lot. Figured we'd go big uh, right away. Why not? Start with some uh, 2018 Tops Museum. Should be fun. It's going to be a hit draft. One through eight. What's going on, Joe? Happy Wednesday, sir. Good to see you, buddy. Glad you can make it as well. Uh, we're going to hang out for a while. See if uh, Craddy and Papa Craddy can make it, which would be sweet. Uh, I I didn't know until I, I after I posted the time and stuff that he was getting the spot, so I probably would have uh, double checked the time. But we're gonna wait a while because that's my bad. So what's going on, Brent? Good to see you, sir. And welcome, welcome. Um, yeah, it's gonna be uh, fun. This is one of those rare times we use uh, what you call it, random.org. So the way that'll look <clears throat> will be something like this. So it'll just be the random list. Which I need to add. Cause I what I didn't have that in yet. So everybody's in there. In the order you got in. Cause we got K Dub, Harry, Harry, Brent, Brent, Joe, Joe, Papa Craddy. Thanks to K Dub and Tim Hall. A little combo connection there. Let me put my ugly mug back up there for a second. And uh, we'll jump into things here in a little while. <clears throat> yeah, framed auto would be sweet. Always down for one of those. Um, like I said, this will be our first look at it, so I hope uh, I hope there's something sweet. Probably wait until at least 7.30 Central, which is a little over six minutes. See if Craddy and Papa Craddy can make it in. Hopefully. Um, like I said, that's my bad for not timing it better. Hopefully I worked hopefully it works out okay. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, Caleb, okay, very nice of you to put that <coughs> give that to him and very nice of Tim Hall to do the giveaway in the first place. So as usual, smoke breaks doing good things. Which is uh always good to see. Down like that. Chat. I think. <clears throat> but yeah, the if you, if anybody does have any questions on the hit draft, basically we're just gonna random your names uh, six times. It's a usual lucky number. Um, after that random, that will be the order you draft the cards in. There are eight cards per hobby box of 2018 Topps Museum UFC. Um, so they'll go in that order. Bottom two draft spots will get giveaways. And uh, that's about it. As far as um, explanation goes, I don't think there's too much beyond that that uh, is too confusing, but it should kind of explain itself as we go. And then, uh, like, if people are pre aren't present, 
which it looks like most people are, so it could go very quickly. Um, you know, we'll just wait for them in the side chat and stuff like that. So there's no issue there. Um, there's Craddy. What's going on, man? Good to see you. Poppy, Papa Craddy as well. Hopefully both are in the house uh, for the debut of UFC here at Smoke Break soon. Um, it's nice seeing it go so fast today. I guess you guys are ready. Uh, I'll definitely be... Uh, Trying to bring bring it bring some back too for sure different stuff and see what I can find and there's no divisions obviously so some stuff I'm gonna have to think get get creative maybe maybe some pack attacks or uh, like hit drafts like I did tonight and so a uh, little extra work on that end but nothing nothing too hefty uh, we'll figure it out so <clears throat> I appreciate it everybody like I said it was a I don't know a couple hour sellout pretty quick and that is how we're going to do things all right we'll kick things off in about 60 seconds then i think everybody's basically in here because i saw k-dub uh did harry make it in yet Yes, he made it in the very first person. That's what I thought. Brent's here. I know Joe's here. Papa Craddy. Uh, the, the J cards and JTB cards wait, are the same color and look way too alike. So everybody is here and present. So I don't see why any reason to delay, really. So we're going to jump over to, uh, oh, yeah, Pack Attack. Yeah, UFC Chrome. Could definitely look into it, Harry, for sure. For sure. It's a different color green than Craddy's though. Craddy's more of a of a lighter green. I don't know. I don't know why they don't differ the colors more up on Twitch. It's, it kind of bugs me. But uh, oh well. I always got complaints about something. Here we go. Haven't done the r randomization with the what you call it in a while. So. <clears throat> We are over here on the random. Kate up, Harry, Harry, Brent, Brent, Joe, Joe, Papa Craddy up in this thing. We're going to randomize things six times. Once. And twice. Three times. Four. Five. And six. And six times. So there is our order, boys and girls, for the um, pack attack. I'll light it up so you guys can see it. <clears throat> the draft order is as follows Joe, Brent. Joe, Joe Brent, Joe Brent, Harry, Papa Cranny, Kadam, and Harry. And that is the order for 2018 Tops Museum. Come back over to me. So I can throw that up to you guys. I should have probably thrown numbers next to them a little easier to see. Uh, let's bring the Twitch back up so make sure nobody's yelling at me. <clears throat> and there it is. Joe Brent, Joe Brent, Harry, Papa Craddy, K Dub, Harry. There it is though. There should be more. There should be more than one auto, Kato. So autos, autos. Uh, here we go. First time, Tops UFC. So I'm, I'm not, I'm not familiar with the pack configuration and stuff. So I will do my very best to put the hits at the bottom, as usual. I'm guessing that's just going to be one big old pack, like that. 
<clears throat> There's some very thick cards in there. <laughs> All right. Super thick. All right. Let me. We're going to go like this. I think that's the best way at it. I think. Like I said, it's going to be my best crack at it. Just from familiar with products, so hopefully this is this is the right way. So, card number one. Okay. Are they that thick? I was going to say, this is two cards. <clears throat> the lady that uh, had the head kick Right around the world, Holly Holm. Holly Holm. Some sweet pictures on here. Very nice. There we go. Getting a little closer. Super, super nice. Three division world boxing champion in MMA, MMA superstar. So that will be option number one. Some minor, some minor stickage, I feel like. Just, it's not like stickage, but friction. Just because of the one big pack, that happens in black sometimes. But Colby Covington, the welterweight. Colby Covington. I'll do my very best with all the names as well because I, I watch a little bit but I'm not familiar with everyone. Come on, Mr. Covington, get your moment in the spotlight. Let me give him a second here. Super nice. Uh, everything looks, you know, semi framed. Like Harry said, looking for a framed auto, but museum's just so nice. It's got a nice uh, prism shine to it as well. That's what the backs look like. Good chunk of information. I like that. Kind of does. It's true. All right. On to card number three, which is Alexander Volkov. Look at that punch. Boom. Alexander Volkov will be option. Number three, heavyweight. Guessing that guy hit the floor after that one. That looks like a right to the hit the earpiece. Boom. Volkov out of Moscow, Russia. Sweet. I think I did things right. Here's a numbered parallel, numbered 91 out of 159 of Demetrius Johnson. Demetrius Johnson, numbered parallel. It's number, numbered right there on the front. If I can get the, the chromium ones are a little harder to get zoom in, but we'll get her. The white borders don't help. That is numbered 91 out of 159. Might help with the sleeve. 91 out of 159. I think museum's pretty well known for having weird numbered uh, short prints. But there it is. 91 out of 159. Demetrius Johnson, fly, flyweight. The Mighty Mouse. All right, we're gonna go here first. This is eight out of twenty-five. Ketlin Vieira, Ketlin Vieira, super short print, eight out of twenty-five. The blue, I think it might be the sapphire. I think they might say on the back there, eight out of twenty-five. Give me a sec. 
Okay. Get out of the way. There we go. Eight out of twenty-five. Ketlin Vieira. And that's Sapphire. That's a bantam weight. Eight out of twenty-five. Very sharp looking. Oh, it does have the rookie card symbol up there on the top right of that one if you guys didn't see that. That's pretty sweet. Slightly different than the than the base baseball. Kind of hexagon. So <clears throat> oh, let me just take a quick peek. We're gonna save that, I think. We'll go down here to the bottom first. Just wanted to make sure I was going in the right order. There are three hits. Two of them are over here now. One's over here. And let's see what this puppy is numbered out of. <clears throat> oh boy. We got 215 out of 220. This is the patch auto of Derek Lewis. Derek Lewis, that thing is nasty. Heavyweight. Derek Lewis. So sweet. A museum collection. Very, very nice. 215 out of 220. A little patch out of there. He's a big boy. Super cool. All right. We'll go to the top now. So I thought that's kind of what I thought this was going to be, but I did not look all, I didn't, I didn't try to peek too much. But this one is numbered 15 out of 50. I know this name, Mr. Tyron Woodley out of 50. Check out that quad patch. Tyron Woodley. Relics. Those are nasty. Quad relic. Quad Relic Card. <clears throat> Super nice stuff. 15 out of 50. Fifteen out of fifty. And the last one will be ink, like I said. And this is going to be the straw weight of Mackenzie Dern. It's number 19 out of 99 on card auto. Mackenzie Dern. 19 out of 99. The straw weight. I like the auto though. Mackenzie Dern. Some sweet stuff. Some sweet, sweet stuff. Sweet stuff. <clears throat> Kenzie Dern. Gotta like it. All right, boys and girls, that does it. <laughs> Kate, I'm calling her out. Oh, yeah, she's probably been beat up enough times. She's taking a lot of blows to the body. Um, Harry, you're going to walk away with the... Uh, Sean McCorkle. Leaf Draft Auto. For the uh, eighth place draft spot. Sean McCorkle. There you go, Harry. It's the only UFC card I own. So the second <laughs> is... Um, the second giveaway is going to be basketball related since we're in the finals. Uh, this is Alex English for the Nuggets out of 2008. Numbered 2000, out of 2008. For the Nugs, we got the Mo Williams. Mo Williams out of 2008 as well. And then the Jose Calderon. So that was the Bucks. And then this one's the Raptors. 373 out of 500. 
taking those home, Mr. Caleb. Mr. Caleb taking home the basketball. And that'll conclude it, boys and girls. So if you guys, Joe, if you want to claim yours here while I'm sitting here, that's totally cool. Otherwise, we will grab it in the side check quick in order. Otherwise, you guys are welcome to draft right here, right now, if you would like. Like I said, uh, other breaks. We'll give a little while if you guys want to fill something else. Otherwise, we'll move on into tomorrow. So, Lewis, number one. Lewis, number one, Mr. Joe. So, Brent, if you're still here, buddy, you're on the clock. Otherwise, we'll get you in the side chat as well. <clears throat> Derek Lewis went first. Joe, and Brent, and then Joe, and Brent, and then Harry, probably Cranny, Caleb, and Harry. Brent, you just get to pick your card, buddy. You get to pick your card. So the only one that's been taken so far uh, it was the Derek Lewis. At 250, you have the choice out of everything else. If you haven't seen everything else, I can show you quick. So that one was claimed by Joe. So you just have like the second draft pick as if as if it were as if it were a draft. Sounds good. Woodley to Brent. And then Joe, you're back on the clock. Back on the clock. I'm pouring rain here all day, making me very sleepy. Try and stay up for the basketball games tonight, but I don't think I'm gonna make it. Some finals coming up. Um, looking forward to it. Should be interesting what happens with the Rockets Warriors here. D. Johnson, very nice of you, sir. Very, very nice of you. Taking the D. Johnson out of 159. Saving an auto for somebody. Uh, that is going to go home to uh, the out of 159. Johnson. In the third spot, Brent back on the clock. Holly home to Brent. Very nice, fellas. Very, very nice. Holly home was our first card. That was a good, good sign. Good first card for our first break. I like that. Harry, you're on the clock. <clears throat> Oh, uh, the Celts giving up? Oh, no. Oh, that's not good. Yeah, geez. Uh, kick, like I said, that was a kick hurt around the world. That match, I don't think anybody saw that coming. It was awesome. Hopefully Harry's still around. Otherwise, like I said, we can catch everybody in the side chat, too. We made it already halfway through, so that's pretty good for being live. Uh, there we go. The uh, Dern auto is gone. So there's still a super short pin out of 25 left. And a couple uh, refractors there. Papa Craddy on the clock. <clears throat> Very nice of folks. I'll, I'm, next hit draft, I'm going to get the, the plastic stands out here, so it's a little easier for folks to remember what's left and stuff. We have the 8 out of 25. We have the 8 out of 25, Ketlin Vieira. 
Bantuweight. And Super Strike Ring. Kobe Covington. Hey, Kobe. And Alexander Volkov. The punch to the head there. Dunsky. <clears throat> Volkov it is Volkov it is It is yours sir It is yours Alright Katum and Katum Who are you taking Covington Or the Vieira out of 25 And then the other one Will go to Harry On top of your giveaways so that's a that's a complete hit draft all there in one video, which will be very nice for folks if they need a reference and stuff like that. Um, definitely something we can do again if you guys want. Definitely, and uh, I'll be sure to be looking around for you know different opportunities at UFC stuff and different years, and you know obviously chances that people like Ronda Rousey and um, Conor McGregor and stuff. Obviously, I know you guys want hit chances at that and uh, start doing a little bit more research. So another thing to add to the, the repertoire, as they say, but very cool stuff. I, uh, I liked it a lot, I hope you guys did too. Um, like I said, if you're still around, and Mr. K-Dub, you're welcome to claim one of the last two, otherwise I'll throw them up in the side chat. And K-Dub's shaking the out of 25, Vieira. There it is, though. That makes it easy. Guy or girl. <laughs> All right. That means Covington goes to Mr. Harry. And that is a complete hit draft. So I appreciate it, everybody. Like I said, very quick sellout today. Hope you guys liked it. Um, Definitely something we can get into more if uh, you guys want to. So I liked, uh, like I said, it's the first time I've ever ripped UFC as well. So I liked it a lot. Uh, Museum's a pretty uh, time-tested product as far as baseball and football goes. And uh, yeah, thanks. I appreciate it, K-Dub, Tim Hall, everybody coming together for making that happen. Glad you liked it. And uh yeah, like I said, I'll be available for a little bit while longer if you guys want to break anything else. And, uh, yeah, I can do WWE too, uh, Brent. Uh, if other people are interested in stuff like that, if you guys want to let me know, and I can look into that as always. You guys just let me know. It's um, totally up to you. I'm, I'm willing to, to try out pretty much anything. So uh, just a matter of figuring it out, and I can do that. So. You guys let me know. So it looks like a couple people at least. So um, at least Brent Kada, let me know. If you guys, other people wouldn't be interested in WWE. I think Tyler probably would be most likely, maybe. Um, uh, yeah, I, Brent, we still got to work on some Game of Thrones trades here. I, I've got uh, I've got some stuff here, and I got to get some stuff to Tyler for his lady and uh, some stuff like that. Walking Dead, uh, we can talk about that. Uh, what me and if you're interested in doing something like what me and CP did with the archives boxes or something like that, I can figure that out. Uh, I'm pretty sure I did that live, so uh, can check those out. But uh, Game of Thrones is that would be probably pack attack style, and uh, the products whatchamacallit are pretty hard to touch nowadays those are serial number products so they only make so many boxes so once they're gone they're gone and now that you know it's the end of the season and stuff I should have stocked up a long time ago but the boxes that I've broken will probably be the last ones I'll be able to, to grab for quite a while but um, which is kind of sad but I can look at it for you guys and let you know uh, if I can bring it in uh, but like I said those boxes are, are serial numbered and are very limited and with all the hype, you know, right now, and even though they're leaving Starbucks cups out on set and stuff, 
during uh, production. But uh, yeah, it's. Uh, but uh, I don't know if that would work, Brent. There's so many side characters and stuff. I pulled all sorts of people. I mean, obviously we, me and my lady, got both very lucky, and we have two John Snows. But we've got all sorts of people, uh, like from all seasons and. Yeah, it's it's cool. Um, one of those cooler products where there's a pretty deep list of signers. Um, that was my lady's first ever pack that she ever opened. She ordered a box of Game of Thrones for herself on the first pack. She thought it was a joke. It was a Jon Snow auto, but I don't think uh, I don't. I I opened a lot of boxes before I found mine, <laughs> and uh, I opened mine with uh, Chris Cummings, and we flipped coins for it. I was like shaking flipping that coin. Yeah I, yeah, I mean, I felt really bad, but that's where it landed, and it'll never leave mine, but I'll never leave my side. Yeah, one's from season four, I think, and one's from season five. So, yeah, very lucky to have those two. And I have a couple others that I really like. Uh, one of the Sands, I don't know if people put it together, but one of the Sand girls from the Sand family in Game of Thrones is also a star in the Marvel universe. She's like the sidekick to uh, the Iron Fist guy. So I have her autograph. That's one of my favorites too. But um, yeah, I, I'm I'm a big non-sport guy. Most people know that. So uh, I, I really like that because you never know what you know what future shows and stuff that they're gonna be in. So I don't like it. But uh, I have I have some other smaller characters. I have the little boy that uh, it's not a spoiler anymore. But the little boy that. Uh, Shot the arrow that killed Jon Snow's uh, red-haired girlfriend, Egret. Um, I have his auto, which is really cool, because obviously that's like a... He has a really good pensmanship, too, so... But... <clears throat> oh, yeah, those are some really nice Walking Dead ones. I don't have too many uh, Walking Dead stuff, but I have a few relics and stuff. Um... Yeah, I got very lucky with some Game of Thrones boxes. Gotham and Arrow are big ones that I've opened. The Flash. Got pretty lucky with those as well. My lady has more luck than I do, so I let her open more of the packs than, than me most of the time. But. Alright, well, I could talk about, uh, you know, non sport cards all day long, but I'm sure people that look back at the UFC video are going to yell at me for the video being a half hour long, but. Hope everybody had fun with it. Um, it was a good first look for sure uh, in the UFC. I guess I'm willing to look into stuff. Like I said, GOT and all that stuff. Uh, definitely willing. Uh, I might have to break my rule and jump into my own breaks. but <laughs> Just kidding. But uh, definitely stuff I can look into. So I'll put it on my list. My list that I cross off one thing and three things appear. But I, I'm, I'm on it. I'm on it. Uh, I appreciate it, everybody. Have a good uh, next rest of your Wednesday night. If I don't get to see you, and uh, hopefully I get to see you soon. So, smoke breaks over and out.